What I do is when I'm creating a piece, someone says they want something for, for uh, depression. I go within myself to a time where I experienced depression. Right. And the journey in creating that piece then becomes me going back to that point, but then me invoking in my mind my process of pulling myself right. up out of that. So by the I wanted to offer incentive around what that looks like. And so um, I, I put out uh, a request for people to apply for the, the apprenticeship and it was a paid apprenticeship where you would not only learn skills, but then you would be paid a stipend mm -hmm. and um, you would learn all aspects of the business, the art, um, and not just the jewelry, but the healing arts as well. Mm -hmm. And um, then the incentive for me was not only just being able to pour what I know into that person and her name is Tamia, okay. but then I would now have someone who I could, from that outpouring from myself, could give back because then I wouldn't have to make all of the items uh -huh. by myself. So uh, that is how that went. And she already came, she had her, she was already skilled in her own right so really? she knew she knew how to make some things she was already making jewelry and us working together enhanced both of us okay. um because she had things that she knew that i didn't right. and um, kind of like the student teaching the teacher yeah and i'm all for that because we can learn from anybody and, and I, I never uh, want to be in a position where I'm looked at as someone who's up on a pedestal because I learned I have a two year old that teaches me <laughs> a four and a six year old that teach right. me. So I learned and I'm able to humble myself to the point where it's not me being all knowing because I'm not. We share information. So it it really um, it was it, it's a beautiful relationship. And I'm saying was because uh, we haven't worked together closely over the last couple of months as much as we did last year but um we're we're definitely still connected and i want to expand that program a okay. little bit more this year okay yeah yeah that's, that's nice and and it's great you're giving back yep. it, yeah it's great all right so um next next question um what what do you do so that your finished pieces evoke emotional responses i connect with the meaning of the piece. So I do a lot of custom pieces and um, even the pieces that I have here uh, today, some of them are custom pieces mm -hmm. that are, I'm, I got to send off tomorrow. Right. <laughs> but um, when, when people come and they want a piece made, they generally let me know where they are in their life. So okay. um, somebody who's struggling with depression or anxiety, um, someone who might be uh, struggling with relationship issues or emotional issues from like a heartbreak, clarity, focus. Mm -hmm. um, I hear what that person is saying to me and I feel it because I, have for the most part, I've felt all of that, you right, know, what right. they've experienced. And so what I do is when I'm creating a piece, someone says they want something for, our, for uh, depression. I go within myself to a time where I experienced depression right. and the journey in creating that piece then becomes me going back to that point, but then me invoking in my mind, my process of pulling myself right. up out of that. So by the end of, um, or when I complete the piece, now we've gone from depression 
to now we good, right, you know, right. and we're happy and we're in a state of gratitude where um, where that depression just doesn't live. And even if it pops up, you know, you just you know how to get back to that place of, of feeling good. Right. Right. Now, earlier you were mentioning about some of the meanings of the stones. Mm -hmm. So you you someone may be depressed. Yep. And you and you you utilize whatever stone you yep. think that will make them come out of that depression yes. and help them. Yep. OK. Yep. So I pick stones just based on what they mean. Right. Um, and then sometimes it's, you know, if I know what's causing a depression, it might be something else that is needed. So if it's you, somebody is depressed because of a heartbreak, mm -hmm. it's not so much like the depression is then the effect. The heartbreak is the cause. And so instead right. of using something for depression, I might use something for the heart chakra or a heartbreak instead. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah, you 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 going straight to the point. Go, yeah, you, you want to get to the root of you it. Uproot it. Yep. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Um, so you may you know um, there there's all types of artists, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's sculptures. There's um, visual art. Um, there's photography. Um, have you ever had any critics say what you do is not art? If I did, I didn't. It didn't resonate. It, it, it didn't resonate. No, I, it didn't resonate. Right. You know, I don't, I don't care. Right. What you right. think. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So, and with, with that said, so pretty much you, 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 you have a lot going on here. You, you, you're actually making something. Mm -hmm. You have a skill because this is a skill. Everybody can do this and it's art. Yeah. That, that's amazing. I, I think that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it is. And it's, it's, a. Uh, um, a combination of of all that and even when I, I look around the room in this space I see a rose that looks like it was photographed and that's that's art I see paintings like that's art and you're right like this is this, this is art. art it's really just a matter of bringing what is in your mind yeah. out into physical form and that's right. that's art Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing open for all of your art needs. Located at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue, open Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now featuring African American and contemporary artwork for local, national, and international artists. Your local shop for masks and statuettes, mud cloths, royal cloths, and salt lamps. Call 414-444-5166 or follow their Facebook, Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. Now we, we we just interviewed a, a local artist by the name of D. Mason, um, and he's an artist, and he um, he he puts art on his had a jacket on, and he draws on his jacket, and it's wearable art. So pretty much, this yep. is wearable art. That's it. Wearable art. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Um, what are your favorite materials to use? I know we spoke about the materials, but um, what what is what what are what are your favorite materials? To use? So copper, copper is is my favorite metal to okay. work with for a number of reasons. Um, it, it's not like I don't want anything difficult, but copper is really easy to bend. It's so obedient. <laughs> right, right. It's easy to work with, and it's a base metal. Um, so it it is all it is is copper when you look at um, brass like i'm wearing right. this isn't a base metal it's an alloy so it's a blend of copper and zinc which makes it a little bit tougher to work with but still doable now you know? now what is a base metal explain that to the audience. a base metal is just simply a, a metal that is what it is there's an, it's almost like a pure metal okay so um gold would be a like base a, metal. Mm -hmm, a okay. base metal so yeah it's it's just um a metal that's not an alloy it's not blended with anything okay. else okay so um like when you think of of brass like when brass is mined there is copper and zinc present to create this okay. metal copper isn't like that copper is what it is it is it's an element it it 
there's nothing else. Right, Iron right, right. also, you know, um, is one of those as well. But um, copper is a conductor of energy. There is no building that is not wired with copper, either right, in the right. electrical system, but every building needs grounding wire, which is copper because it's, it's inexpensive. You could use silver, but silver is so expensive. You know, when you think about grounding wire, but right. it grounds the building, we need copper in our bodies. And you might see um, people that play golf or tennis, they'll wear like a copper bracelet or bangle to keep the blood flowing in that mm. area where their joints yeah, arthritis is good for arthritis. It conducts energy. So the flow of energy. And if we look yeah. at ourselves at energetic as energetic beings, right. wearing copper helps our energy to flow. Really? Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's you and you learned all this as you learned this trade. Like I, I, I'm learning right now. <laughs> I, you know, and it's, it's, it's interesting because I'm I'm OK was saying that I don't know things right. I am, but if I'm doing something you gotta learn it. and you know, and it's really my customers train me through the questions that they've asked me because when there are questions and I don't know the answer to, yeah. it's like, okay, I got to go study that because yeah. the next person that asks me that I want to be able to have a real answer for right. them. So right. yeah, I, I have studied, um, I have studied this, but but the copper, uh, it just it, it really makes everything flow. Right. The blood right. Wow. flows. Wow. And um, even now, athletes, so you think like basketball players, they wear those compression pants. Yeah. Now they do. A lot of those are copper lined. Really? They have copper lined compression pants. So not only are you protecting the muscles and the joints, but you're um, those pants or those compression sleeves that they wear yeah. are helping the energy, the blood to keep flowing properly, right, which right. helps to reduce the risk of injury right, and right. strain. Right. Yep. Wow. Wow. That's neat. <laughs> now, um, with, with, with copper, copper is a softer metal mm -hmm. and it's like you said, easy to bend. Um, now, you, you know, like I, I, when I think of copper, right, I think of, of people stealing copper. I, I hate, I hate to <laughs> that it's uh, real. <laughs> make, make this analogy, right? I hate that, but, but people do that. They do. So it has some value to it. It has that. value. It has value to it. Wow. Yep. Yeah, it has value. And you know, people, they steal it because if you, you think of a property that's being built and there's copper all around yeah, for that yeah. grounding wire, but you can take it to a junkyard and you can get some decent money for it. Right, so if right. you're not paying anything for it and I'm not encouraging anybody to do it, but if you're not paying anything for it, you can just go to a construction site and take it and then take it to a junkyard and they're not going to question you. Right, That's right. easy money. So when you go to Home Depot, they got it all chained up. They got to be, right, so right, you, you yeah. can't just take it because it is, it's so needed. Right. It's so needed. Now, speaking of that, um, so, so with it being, you know, valuable. Um, what, what, um, what, 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 what are some of your price points on your pieces? Tell, explain that to the audience in regards to. So the the price the points on the pieces, there's a range. So I have pieces that are as little as $20. Mm -hmm. um, and I always, I do like sales too, because I okay. want to be able to make the, um, the pieces accessible to everybody. Everybody. Um, so I have pieces that are $20 and sometimes a little less if I'm having a, a big great sale. Right. Yep. Right. Yep. A great day or just like a big blowout sale. Right. But then I have pieces such as um, this one that I would charge $500 for. Okay. So, right. um, and it just, it, it really just depends on what it is. I don't factor in as much the time that it takes for me to make a piece because this took years for me to get to the point where I can make things quickly. Right. And I want to share something with you. The reason I say that is um, there's a, a famous story about uh, Picasso. Mm -hmm. He was in France and at a restaurant and there was a, a lady there who saw him and asked him to, you know, draw him, draw her something real quick on a napkin or something. So he draws it for took him a couple minutes and then she asks if he could have it, if she could have it. 
And he says, yeah, but you got to give me a million francs for it. So we asked for this crazy amount of right. money. Well, what was considered crazy to her. And she's like, well, why would you charge so much for something that only took you two or three minutes to make? And he's like, it didn't take me two or three minutes to make this. It took me 40 years to learn how to make this go. in two or three minutes. And right. so, right. Um, you know, sometimes people will ask, well, how long does this take you to make? 13 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and that and that, that resonates with me. I, yep. I, I, I really believe that because yep. it might, you know, it might take me maybe 20 minutes to frame a picture. Right. And the picture might be expensive, but it it took took me 20 years to learn this yep. trade. Yeah. So, so yeah. So yeah, I never thought of it like yep. that. So right, right, yeah, that's all right. And it, you know, honestly too, it took me a, a minute to get to that point to just assess yeah. the value of um, the art and um, ask for the value yeah. of the art. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now, um, just moving on. The Artist Connection podcast was generated from many conversations with local artists around the lack of opportunity to showcase their talent. Here at Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, we recognize our local talent and strive to connect artists with the community. Please enjoy this opportunity to hear from local artists and learn more about what inspires their work. Gallery and Framing specializes in custom framing, printing on canvas, and selling contemporary and African-American art, all housed in our 3,000 square foot art gallery. We are centrally located in Milwaukee at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. We recognize local artists and strive to connect local talent with the community. We're asking for your support. Contact us to find out how you can help sponsor the work we're doing to highlight local artists in our community.